your world. The speech center of the brain controls every system in your body. That's mm -hmm. why you have to control your words. Yeah. Uh, um, Quantum physics, not even Christians, quantum physics has proven now that when you speak the word, the vibration of your sound creates energy that mm. has the power to change the molecular structure of things. Wow. Didn't Jesus figured that out when he talked to the fig tree? Come on, mm. talk to me somebody. It changes the molecular structure. Mm. Sinners have figured this out. Come on. Right, right. Come on. We are Christians. We have this power. We have the voice activated system. Everything God created, He spoke and He transferred that to Adam. That's why Adam has that ability. That wow. blessing, the word bracha is the word blessing. When you say someone is blessed, it means you've given them an empowerment. God blessed man and gave him an empowerment. What was that empowerment? Yeah, he gave him voice activated system. So now you speak. Speak and worlds change. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Amen. We are living. Yes, Jesus! <laughs> we are living. <laughs> We are Hallelujah. And, and all of this Bible, all of this is Old Testament, including Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And all of that was written to human beings. Come on. This part was written to spirit beings. Yes. Stop doing what human beings were told to do. Because they didn't have the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost within. Yeah. Start doing what spirit beings were told to do. Jesus. You see, Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, <laughs> Iron Man are all <laughs> copies of spirit. Uh -huh, that's right. You that's are right. a spirit man. You're hey! not a human being. You're a spirit mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. You know, Spider-Man had to climb walls. You know, Superman had to blow on something. <laughs> oh, you got to do the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, Glory. Hey! <laughs> and my boy yeah. will be healed. Wait a minute, that was Jesus. But that's the same Jesus that said the things that I do. Come on, come hey! on. Hey! So will you do. Why? We come on, man of God. And storms change. We speak and the wind ceases. We still have a And tornadoes so got to go. We have to authority. Stay safe here. That's why it says on the day of judgment, mm -hmm. you will be judged for every idle one. Why? Because your words either promote the plan of God or your words hinder the plan of God. You can't, unless you can say the right thing, don't say anything. Because you're about to release either words. You can bless with your words and you can curse with your words. Yes. That's why I said to James, you better control that tongue. Better you better control that tongue. Mm -hmm. Through the Holy Ghost, you control it. Now you can start to speak your world into existence. Hey, what did God do? Mm -hmm. He declared the end mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. Stop telling it like it is. God hey. never told it like it is. <laughs> he declared the end from, from the, the beginning. beginning. And that's what caused the end to become what he wanted. Oh, Come on. Wow. Wow. Come on, man. we got to start declaring the end to the beginning. Hallelujah. Calling things that be not as though they were. Job 22 28 says, What you have, you have declared and decreed. It shall be established. We are the kings that he is the king of. Kings decree and they take a nap. Oh, come on. They fully expect what they decree to matter. Amen. So you've got to learn the voice activated system. I got seven volumes on it. Now, let me tell you. Ooh, Jesus. I'll tell you one thing about prayer. Are you Talk ready? to him. Yeah. Yes, sir. Prayer. Prayer is voice activated. Mm -hmm. It's part of the voice activated system. Mm -hmm. Praying in tongues mm -hmm. is voice activated system. Mm -hmm. Let me explain why. Because you have to pray in tongues. Now, the Bible says God watches over his word to perform it. So when you speak the word, guess what? 
God performs it. It says in Isaiah 55, 11, uh, uh, I sent his word, he sent his word, no, Isaiah 55, 11, though so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, it will not return to me void. So it can go out void. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that was powerful you said that last night. So when someone puts the word in your mouth and sends it back to God, that's when it comes to you by your sense book. So we've got to put the word in Got to return it. Send it back to God. This tone. And then tongues. What is tongues? Well, tongues is you speaking your spiritual language, your heavenly language. But 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 stop right now. How'd you get it? Acts 2 1. They were in the upper room. 120 men, plus women and children. The Holy Spirit was poured out. And the Bible says they spoke in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Who gave them utterance? The Spirit. How does the Spirit give utterance? Tongues. Watch this. Thus saith the Lord. What am I doing? I'm telling you what God says. How do I know what God says? Because I heard it. How do you know to speak in tongues? Because you heard it. You heard syllables. And you repeated syllables. In your spirit. Who spoke those syllables? The Holy Spirit. So what does that tell you? The it's Holy Him Spirit speaking it. In ah. <laughs> Come on. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. That's all on the flawless prayer. John 16, 13. John 16, 13. What does the Holy Spirit say? He doesn't speak of his own accord. But he speaks what he hears from the Father. The Holy Spirit don't speak. He speaks what he hears from the Father. So if the Holy Spirit gave you utterance, where do you think he got it from? Come on. Kuria la masa randa losia. Now watch this. If the Father speaks in tongues and the Holy Ghost speaks in tongues, then how... How can you tell me it is not God's word? How can you tell me it's not God's word? It is totally completely God's word. Why? Why is it God's word? Because the Father spoke it. So therefore, all the rules that apply to God's word apply to tongues. Like what? He watches over his word to perform it. That applies to tongues. No word of his Come on. the power. Wow. This is what it was sent for. Kuria Masiata. His word shall not return more, but it will prosper with it. That applies to tongues. Every rule that applies to the word of God now applies to tongues. And it is called the flawless prayer. Yes. Why? Hallelujah. When you pray in tongues, your flesh ain't in it. I teach in the flawless yes. prayer how you can pray out God's plan for your life. The perfect plan. Yes. Walk in the perfect Why? Because tongues is voice activated, activated system. Praise and worship is voice activated system. How do you know? Because when I praise him, I actually open my mouth and I sing words to wow. him and create something called a platform for his presence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He inhabits the praise, the praise, the praise mm -hmm. of his people. Are you getting a hold of this? I'm going to teach a whole lot more on that. People can understand. Voice activating system is in everywhere in the Bible. From Genesis all the way to Revelation. Mm -hmm. I met with my spiritual dad uh, and uh, about a year and a half ago. And I said to him, uh, uh, Brother Copeland, you've been teaching on blessing. The blessing, the blessing. Mm -hmm. I said, can I tell you what the blessing is? He said, sure. What is the blessing? I said, it's bracha. It's the word empowerment. He said, that's right, son. It is the word empowerment. I said, but can I tell you what that empowerment is? He said, what is it, son? I said, it's a voice-activated system. He looked back and said, what? I said, that's what blessing is. It's a voice-activated system. He said, you got me teaching on this? I said, as a matter of fact, I do. I gave him one of my seven CD albums. Seven CD albums. I gave him one. Within five days, he was teaching the voice-activated system <laughs> and telling him he got it from his spiritual son, Dr. Oh, wow. Nassau. Oh. He was giving me the credit every time. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what he got it. So I'm telling you, voice-activated system, you've got to learn it and you've got to understand it. Don't speak words. Right. Deploy them. Mm -hmm. Deploy them. Yeah. What does that mean? Send them on an assignment. Wow. Send them to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sadiqi, you said something on your on your TV show one day. You said instead of just speaking, speak what you hear. Yeah. 
instead of just declaring, repeat. Like, you know how Jesus said, he said, I only speak what I hear my father saying. And I heard that I was like, instead of just like, Lord, bless my mama, bless my daddy, you pray what you hear in the spirit to pray. And don't you ever say, I don't hear God's voice. Right. <laughs> don't ever say that. Why? Because don't ever say, I don't hear God's voice. Why? Because you contradict Jesus. Exactly. You know what Jesus said? My sheep. No. Wow. Don't ever say that. In fact, you want to be saying, I know his voice. Right. I hear his voice. I'm the voice of a stranger. I will know. Mm -hmm. Start declaring it over you. All right. I've got number four. I've got to go number five. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> number five. His power. What is his power? It is the only power in the entire universe that does not have the capacity to fail. What kind of power wouldn't have the capacity to fail? Uh, Are you ready? Love. <laughs> love cannot mm -hmm. fail. Mm -hmm. And we've never used this power like we should have. Yeah. God is love. Yeah. Wow. And if love ain't flowing from you, God ain't flowing from you, right. power ain't flowing from you, anointing ain't